Well, everybody, the time is nigh. Finals is just around the corner, but first we got to go through semis where Team Bestie and Team Festa are going to face off in a phenomenal race to the finish. Now, as always, I'm Goose here with Spoog, and we are here to bring you what could potentially be one of the most important games of tonight. We've yeah. seen both of these guys do, uh, or both of these uh, these teams, sorry, uh, mm -hmm. do absolutely insane things tonight. So I wonder what they're going to be doing as we uh, as we move on. So, yeah, both teams showed a very dominating performance in their first. So going into Bayside Bridge run again, this is like clockwork for these individuals. Festa, however, that team kind of took dominating their series to a whole new level they really did but that's not to count out beastie from not being able to do the same thing but as we've spoken about many times you know there are many places map in particular that you will often see uh players try to make their moves they're using their blue boosts in these places and then uh how uh, well their team as a unit will be able to snake across the bridge so it's going to come down to these uh infinitesimal decisions and micromanaging as the race goes on but who should we uh who should we be looking out for here from each team goose uh i mean we know that there are a few self-imposed best items players in the uh in the game mm -hmm. but uh i do think hyphen is going to be a force to be reckoned with just like the presence of them being in the race even the even if they aren't placing the highest the impact that they have throughout is similar to that of like what we've said over and over in the past about like csgo and rushdown uh like they are absolutely decisive in everything that they do there's no hesitation there's no mm -hmm. uh uh there's no there's no stopping like it's all right. gas all the time they're mm -hmm. immediately always uh like in the way of their opponents he's helping out his uh his teammates it's genuinely amazing but looking at mash uh another amazing player god everybody here is just insane let's mm -hmm. be honest but yeah, a lot of the snake drifts coming out. Uh, Tumaki is going to be the first, uh, the first to pull into the uh, the lead here, followed by Beast, uh, Fessen, Hyphen, not far behind. As uh, Sarah and Kinaru are in the uh, sort of later end for uh, for Team Festa. But here we go, Mash more, uh, Mash Mayo, Mayo Mash, the Mashed Mayo, <laughs> the Mashed Mayo. Uh, Beast got a little bit of a lead here. Festa short. Uh, short behind has double boost double blue boost now will oh, likely be able Festa. to take first place here if they do a inside cut suki actually making a nice move on the outside to stop oh. it from happening but festa will be able to take first place yeah. here in comes the turns oh i can't tell if suki hit the wall or not that might have been a ping thing doesn't it may look have like been, but it looks like beast is trying to uh regain this top slot here Landing on the blue bar. I need someone to explain to me what those uh what those blue bars are, but we are gonna get the uh the snaking here as Beast tries to uh to overtake Festa here. Followed by USA player. I have not seen a whole lot of them this uh this match so far, and seeing them just come all the way up to the front here is genuinely insane. But we got a uh, ton of blue boosts on the side of uh team Beastie. Uh, a lot of those are gonna end up getting uh used within the tunnel. Oh my god, a full set of blue for the entirety of the blue team. I'd imagine Festa is gonna try and use this to uh uh to kinda increase their lead here because they are in a winning position. Yep, and just like that, Beast overtaking uh Festa for first place here. USA player trying to fight for second place, maintain that. This is the final lap, so this these next set of turns will kind of determine who's going to uh, take the official lead here. USA player holding first place nicely, dipping back mm -hmm. to Beast in second place. Right behind him, though. Festa. Oh my oh, god! Unfortunate. What just yeah. happened? Oh no, Beast! Oh Excellent. my god! Heartbreak for Team mm -hmm. Beastie. Beast that is... just became a ping pong mm -hmm. ball at the last second there. Beast, unfortunately, clipping the wall there and choked out on that win that they likely would have had. And Team Festa 
coming in for the immediate swoop collapse on that mistake. Oh yeah, that was that was heartbreak if you're uh, if you're on Beastie's side. Mm, mm, mm. That that was uh, that was rough. That is super unfortunate to have you know the lead like that and be that close to the finish line. You know, nerves are nerves are on. I understand. You know, the players. You know, they they might be feeling some type of way. Everyone gets nervous, but that is just not what you want to see that late in a race. And Absolutely not. Super unfortunate, but well played from uh, Team Festa that collapse on that mistake and immediately get those placements to secure that point. Um, going to Team Beastie though, I can't remember what their their counter pick was last time because I don't think it was their pick last time. I think they won their first uh, speed game and then they were counter picked against, if I'm not mistaken. I think so, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat, by all means. But, you know, think you're right. uh, that that race was relatively close. That could have gone either way. Had that uh, mistake not have happened, um, it likely would have went into Team BC's favor. So whatever this next pick will be, will, well, will actually be for Zigzag Timberland. A uh, little, little moose action going on. <laughs> ah, yes, moose. The uh, most dangerous, cuddly friend you will <laughs> ever see. A little, uh, little moose action. Um, but oh, this yeah. is a, a a great map to kind of overtake individuals on the inside with, you know, better drift mechanics. So that's what it's going to come down to. I suspect we will likely see the same individuals kind of push forward, assuming they aren't making the same mistakes. But... Both players on each team, or, uh, both uh, both teams and each player have the capacity to, you know, kind of dominate. So it's just going to come down to whether or not people are making mistakes. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's this is going to be one hell of a match, and I don't think it's going to be pretty at all. Rain is sleek and Team Festa is fighting to push this into the uh, into the item match. Uh, Beast is going to be the one who takes the uh, the first end here. And oh man, Kanaru in a pretty rough spot sitting in the back here. Does end up getting a double blue. So we're going to be seeing them maybe pass a few people uh, rounding the bend here. Able to like, grind out a second set of double blue. Oh my god. Yep. Team Beastie looking nice with it right now. Ends up accidentally bumping uh, hy uh, Hyphen right up. Uh, Mash Meoru, uh, Meoru unable to uh, keep up with these two as just the entirety of Team uh, Beastie running all the way down to the bottom. There is a legion of high nitro blue, uh, blue festas gaining on Beast right now. Oh my god. Yeah, Beast is in a very tough spot here. His team's definitely going to have to compensate for the lack of aggression here. As again, Team Festa is kind of boxed in with each other here. USA player trying to take the outside there on Hyphen will not be able to do so. Will actually be able yeah. to on turn two of that. USA player oh, looking man. to overtake Kanaru on the inside. Kanaru not only that, but... appropriately. Go ahead. Oh my god, Festa is barely gaining, gaining on Beast right now. I think they actually might have been able to uh, to get themselves a little bit of extra space there. But the privacy that, uh, that Festa is able to get now that he's overtaking Beast uh, might be big. But there is a double blue in Beast's pocket. Making the jump, and there is the air drift, shoving Festa into the corner. Is able to cut them, and then here we go onto the uh, onto the final few bends here of the uh, of the second lap. Festa fighting for this first place. Oh, oh man! My well played from Festa going outside and back in to stop Beast from overtaking it again. Nice box out here, not allowing Beast to make a move on that inside and place. USA player, however, sitting in third place, can now shortly behind that in fourth place. This is, oh, uh, this yeah. is pretty tight. This is really damn tight. Uh, there is definitely uh, merit for uh, Team BC to win this if uh, Beast and USA are able to take this oh. first and second position. Oh my god, what just happened? I'm not entirely sure what happened there. It looked like a nice little draft started to come in from Beast, but managing to get somewhat of a bump there to bump Festa off to the side. And then taking first place right after. Oh my god. player is now on Festa's behind. Super dude. close. Oh yeah, dude. Mash is also ah! threatening Sarah's position as well. They overtake him. We have first and second happening right now. Festa fighting for that first spot. Unable to catch up to them. And that actually might end up being uh, the end there for, uh, for Team Festa's... Uh, 
Moose. <laughs> the moose. Yeah, I think that's a win for Festa, right? Uh, right it's, a, my... it's, a, it's a win for BC. Yeah, if my calculus is correct, it should be BC. Yeah. Um, and that was well played uh, for US player being able to close that gap and actually be able to secure that second place in this race as Festa and Hyphen were kind of, you know, giving Beast a, a bit of a, a bit of a hard time. So well played from Team BC to bring that back to, you know, a 1-1 one, one, one situation. Now we'll have a counter pick from Festa. And I, personally, I don't I don't know where they're going to go from here because they, they had somewhat of a blowout um so oh, yeah. i mean i they, it, I they could honestly pick anything and i probably would be just as surprised as you know the information i have now but again these races are not completely one-sided it is it was neck and neck all the way until oh, yeah. the last you know uh a couple seconds of that race beastie Absolutely. and festa going at it back and forth passing each other left and right trying to botch each other out from taking the inside and this is just a, a, a prime example of, you know, why these individuals made it this far in the tournament. Mm -hmm. No, genuinely an amazing performance from both teams here. I'm excited to see how this uh, how this shakes out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, did we uh, did we run predictions for for this uh, series? They ran. OK, good. good. Let me let me look at chat. OK, a lot of a lot of people predicted uh, Team Festa. From what I'm seeing. Mm hmm. Okay. How about you, Goose? You lean uh, in anywhere in particular, or are you with me at kind of? I want to see what happens, dude. Mm -hmm. I'm in I'm in recruiting mode right now. Like I'm in Atlas recruiting mode, and I know you are too. <laughs> of course, of course. I'm out of operations. I gotta be. Oh yeah, I'm 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 the fucking content manager, baby. I <laughs> I want to see if these guys will uh will bring us some. Bring us some extra notoriety because oh yeah. my lord, they are cracked. God, yeah. making it I look it, making it look so easy. Look at this going into Glacier Extreme Stadium. Hmm, was not expecting that one. Let me real quickly just like send this link to John. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let me just let me just do that. Yeah, also, yeah, that would be a good thing to do. But again, Glacier. This map is, you know, pretty straightforward. Nothing too crazy, but these last little bits of wines and bends here going into uh, the last part of the map looking at the bottom kind of extends down. This is a pretty popular place for mistakes to happen. You know, people trying to oh, cut yeah. that wall is, you know, as close as you can get. And if you mess up, you will 100% basically take yourself out of the race and oh, yeah. or there is a couple segments on the last two turns where you can fall off the map. So, you know, just as much oh, yeah. of, a, of a, a throw, if you will, if you make a mistake in these areas. So let's uh, see which team will be able to keep composure and consistency throughout the race. Oh, yeah, dude, I'm ready to see Hyphen just like toss somebody into the abyss here. <laughs> I'm honestly, Hyphen's been pretty aggressive in terms oh, of yeah. boxing individuals out. So if it was anyone that's gonna throw someone off the map, Hyphen definitely would be that. Idiot. Absolutely, absolutely. But here we go. We're gonna be starting it out. Oh man, the the starting is so important because whoever is able to get that uh, uh that lead is able to get so much extra room mm -hmm. uh for uh for snaking. You don't have to worry about running into somebody uh in front of you. Yep. And here we go. Yeah, no, we see it immediately. Like, Tumaki and USA and Beast are currently up in the front, and they're able to just keep that Nitro going as they're not worried about uh, hitting each other here as Sarah and Festa are fighting to uh, uh, to catch up to them right now. But there's a sizable distance in between the two of them. Sarah trying to uh, close that gap and take this corner as tight as they can. Yeah, Sarah doing a very decent job keeping up as well as the rest of Team Festa. This, again, is not to count them out. Again, we're getting closer and closer to that part of the map where I said, you know, mistakes likely happen. And if you were going to want to try to take someone out, now would be the time to do it. Nice little turn oh, there from US players staying God. on the inside. Couldn't have hit that Here turn anymore. Here oh. Able to find the shortcut. That is amazing. USA player keeping themselves near the front. Sarah. The is able to overtake them. Oh, big oh, drift. No, oh, no. no. That's colossal. The loss that Beast just suffered for their team. Oh my god. It is now up to Sumaki to uh, see if they can do anything to uh, to take a little bit of space here and 
uh, get a good placement while Beast and the rest of the gang try and catch up. But right now, things are not looking all that great for Team Beastie. This could be their, uh, their foray into needing to win the item match. Suki unfortunately getting bumped there by Hyphen of all people. Oh, in of course. order to for them to take fourth place, Suki trying to take fourth as well, fighting, trying to stay in this race, going back and forth between Hyphen gonna be, and Are they gonna be able to take it? No, it unable like to take that one. The cut is just not quite fast enough. Okay, wait a minute. Will Canario actually be able to make a move here? First place, Vesta looking yeah, really Festa. comfortable here, following it up with Sarah. They they're looking mighty solid right now. Absolutely. Like, oh, I, gotta, I gotta hand it to Beastie. They're looking real good right now. They've been able to retake a ton of positions, but that is the first two. USA is actually just gonna turn around on that one. They have the they have the top three slots. That's not a win for, uh, for Festa. That is real unfortunate, but you know what? That was really, really well played from Festa. They did not lose composure throughout any of that. So, big hats off. We're gonna be moving to the item match with Festa being up one. Yeah, well played from Festa there. Keeping composure, hitting some nice turns. Sarah making a nice little shortcut on that last turn of that bend of Extreme Stadium. But let's talk about that unfortunate mishap with USA player completely falling off of the map. That 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 one hurt. That one hurt to watch. Yeah, it really did. Woo. But you know, things happen. You know, it's to be expected. As I said, the last bit of that map is usually where things tend to happen. Um, Absolutely. Festa being able to secure the speed win. Let's see how they do on the item map. Hey, you never know what they might be able to uh, to pull out. Like these guys have been working really, really hard in order to uh, to get to this point. So, uh, also I would imagine like Suki is super comfortable with items as they are uh, self-proclaimed to be. And you know what? I'm done with just teasing people. I'm gonna I'm just say it. I think Suki is absolutely amazing at items. Uh, like I can't deny that at all. Mm -hmm. uh, the way that they've been able to play the last uh, the last few ones have been genuinely amazing. So we're gonna be going down to Gangnam as we set up our uh, our lobby. Again, nice big areas for you to uh, to be messing around with. Suki is the number one Japan player. Oh my god. Okay, so uh, that makes a lot of sense, honestly. As uh, we are getting this set up, uh, for those again that aren't familiar, we are going to be going into item mode uh, for this next uh, little batch of uh, this series. Um, and if uh, we could possibly, you know, Tio's, if we have time and we're trying to kill, uh, pull up the uh, the item drop rate for you know placements yeah, that would yeah. be uh pretty decent to look at again for those that aren't familiar this is kind of what uh you're going to be looking at for what type of items you're going to be pulling and where um so it's not uncommon for you know individuals that may not be you know up front to be pulling more supportive items and allow them to get back in the race and then your attackers tend to be you know someone in the middle of the race so you know your seeker missiles your ufos stuff like that your aqua bombs and, you know, obviously, if you're sitting up front, the vast majority of what you're going to be, you know, grabbing is, you know, on a 55% drop rate, your shields, which, you know, is quite helpful. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's, uh, that's what you want. You want to be able to uh, to deal with whatever's coming your way. Mm -hmm. But it looks like we're loading in here. Let's go. All right. Going to Ghanem Streets, also known as the Toilet Bowl. <laughs> That's right, I did call it that. <laughs> All right, starting it off here with Mash again. Beautiful start from a Team Beastie. Oh Talking yeah, I... yeah, we have uh, we have Tsumaki and uh, and Mash Mayo. I uh, kind of taking them with the middle, but oh my god, the entirety of Team Festa oh, uh, opting to hold back. Kanaru making a massive jump to the front. I didn't even process what was going on there. Yeah, that, that was a decent jump, but it also was unfortunate at the same time is they missed the item entirely. Yeah, true. Oh, nice banana. They didn't Wait a have anything to, uh, to defend themselves. But here we go. Magnet. Oh, Jesus Christ. The speed that they're able to get off that Sarah bringing themselves up into the front. The UFO is going to be uh, bringing them back, allowing uh, Hyphen and Beast to fight it out for the first place spot. Oh, nice. my God. The 
yeah, the battle happening right now. Festa going wide here, trying to avoid anything that uh, that might be coming their way as USA and uh, oh my God, Tumi, uh, Tumaki getting sent all the way to the uh, to the middle of the pack. Mm -hmm. Still maintaining third place though. Festa, Sarah, and Kanaru though popping off a little bit. Festa has a lot of uh, uh, items. Looks like anti UFO bomb and now shield. So we'll likely be sitting on the shield. Pops the shield to dodge that little uh, wisp. Double shield now on Hyphen in first place. That's exactly what you want to see. Not much going to be happening to Hyphen anytime soon. Forced to pop both. Still maintaining first uh, place. Suki in second. Yeah, oh. bunch of shields coming out. Oh my god, the, the threat of the needle! Tsumaki looking good with it. Able to get through the barriers. And now here we are into our final lap. Everybody is super, super grouped up. Uh, like... As much as I want to say, uh, Sarah and uh, Kumari are, uh, Kinaru, sorry, are uh, like sitting pretty out front. They are neck and neck, like bumping each other here and there. And then Tsumaki is able to just, you know, casually go at like 250 down the road. Oh, look at this. And yeah, Kinaru, nice move. Oh. Oh, Good bubble. water bubble. Like everyone up. Ends up putting themselves, but Beast is going to be the one who uh, who takes the the lead off the scramble. Oh, oh he just hit it. That. Dude, Aqua he got bomb. tangented by that thing. Aqua bomb coming in clutch, Sarah. And That's yeah, that is the very end of it. Placed. Oh, the magnet is so sick. God, that is that would have been hilarious had something like that actually worked out for them. But uh, yeah. yeah, Beast, unhappy about their. Uh, uh, about their loss, but Festa and Sarah looking real nice up in the front. Yeah, very well played from Team Festa. Uh, Beast was looking like they might have uh, taken that race there, but a well placed Aqua Bomb to shut that mess down. Festa taking it over, and you know, just in case uh, Festa for some reason didn't have it, you know, Sarah was right there. Absolutely. Things are looking real good for Festa right now. They have not dropped a... S oh, wait, no, they've dropped one map. Mm -hmm. And that was within a last-minute clutch from uh, from Beast. So, yeah, just taking a look at the item drops uh, yet again. I gotta, I gotta commend, like, how many times we're seeing, like, uh, Guardian Shields. Like, 14 yeah. shields are so nice. It's for a 5% a, uh, drop rate between 8 and 3. 5% drop rate. That's a pen tab for you BDO players out there, which is low, <laughs> you know? And we, we have been seeing them quite frequently. However, you know, it is possible to get, you know, multiple uh, uh, items, you know, every every item set, depending on oh, yeah. you know, where you are. So it's not uncommon. Um, and we've also been seeing quite a bit of aqua bombs. Absolutely. And successful aqua bombs at that. <laughs> They're so good with them. It's insane. Also, shout outs to Atlas Esports in the chat. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? <laughs> We're out Speaking here. We're the devil things. and he shall arrive. Uh so we are going to uh wait, what was what was the map? I missed it. Uh, we're heading to Clock Tower. Clock Tower, okay, yeah. So this is the one with the bridge jump, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so you know it. This this map again, that bridge jump, that's a perfect spot to like really mess Hot someone somebody, up yeah so honestly both teams are fully uh coherent as to when and when not to use items and hopefully we get uh, uh decent uh comms from both teams to try to stop those sabotages from happening loading into clock tower crossing as we are speaking about it going into game two for item mode will beastie and their team be able to stay in it Oh, we, you never know. But uh, Tumaki is going to be the one who uh, uh, is going to be fighting with Sarah for the first place here. Ends up just getting knocked <laughs> out and Hyphen is forced to uh, to take the banner, but ends up just getting overtaken immediately. Oh, the UFO is going to come in, allowing Hyphen to take that first spot, chased by four red players. Uh, finally getting broken up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Good shield. That was a well-timed shield. That Aqua Bomb had Beast's name on it, but this is very reminiscent of last game, though. Beast had the lead for quite some time, and Festa and Sarah just started to collapse. Oh yeah, but here we go into the uh, into the shortcut. This tight little uh, little alleyway is a godsend for anybody who's able to uh, comfortably do it. Here okay, we go. Here the yeah, big big item usage and. Uh, 
Ah. Tsukimi is going to be uh is gonna be taking the first while Mash is uh riding their tail. Sarah and Kanaru uh coming up to uh take this spot from um oh my god, in sync they're able to UFO. Slowing it down a little bit. Kanaru is gonna go into the offensive uh the offensive slots mm. here. Oh, what a wisp. What a wisp and we'll hit the wall here. Mm, yeah. Super unfortunate for Kanaru. Suki will be able to take this first place relatively easily, and the rest of Team BC to follow suit. Uh, BC, uh, uh, Beast actually, you know, dropped a fifth. Not sure what that was. Uh, sitting on the team shield. Suki up front with double shield. Mash has a shield of their own. All the shields going around. They're yeah, looking a lot of defensive defense. items. A lot of defensive items on the red side right now. Oh, my lord. Here we go. Oh, we have a storm cloud coming in from uh, Kanaru as well. They're, I don't know when they're going to pop that, but they are going to pop their speed first. No shields to block it either. As oh, of yet, yeah. Okay, wait, hold on. Suki just got a shield. This is what you want. Team shield popped for Team Beastie. They are in the last stretch yeah. here. This is... Oh, wait a minute. Oh Big screen God, out there. Let's go. You the... okay. Oh, that is so toxic, and I love it. Oh, Beastie taking it home. Holy okay. crap. Dude, that... Festa just got shafted there. That was so good. That was a well-placed spin out if i've ever seen one what better way to do it than on a you know small crevice like that oh yeah that was such a nice block jesus mm -hmm. that was mean all right so you know that is a point for team Be uh, beastie so we're now one one in the item phase mm -hmm. we'll be going to another or a third round for the item mode here uh, counter pick going into Fess's favor. Absolutely. Um, I I don't know what I don't know what map they're gonna pick. I have no idea. They they haven't been in this position yet. I don't think. No, no. They, I think they they swept their uh, their end of the bracket. Mm -hmm. So you never know what they might end up doing here. I I have no guesses. I literally have no guesses. Like mm -hmm. maybe one of the caves. Uh, I don't really know. Like, I am not experienced enough in items to be like, oh, they're probably going to want to do this. Also, I don't know what sort of like uh, set strats that they have uh, or protocols that they have. So, yeah, never know. So what uh, chat helped me out a little bit because I also am not very well versed in precise map knowledge as of yet. Uh, what is that map that uh, we uh, we witnessed the barricade in that uh, corridor? I, I forgot which series that was, but it was like super hype moment. Someone used yeah. a, a barricade. It was one of the ice polar. ones. Polar. Yeah. Po okay. Yeah. So polar. I, I would love to see that map just for you know, uh, familiar uh, like a familiar <sighs> standpoint. But wait, what's this? Oh, Istanbul. Ooh. Okay. Let's go. Okay. So I I played this map once, so not too familiar. But I do know that there are spots to completely just screw someone over. <laughs> I, and Dude, I, and I, I mean a massive that. spot in the middle there like at the halfway yeah. point yeah so, so yeah as you can see you know on the upper part of the map there are these like pillars I don't, I don't really know what to call them medians if you and you can you know drive on both sides of those so you know if someone's Ooh. trying to cut on the uh, outer side which is like a I guess a n more narrow uh, location you know one barricade mm, what you gonna do you know what I'm saying yeah. So going in here to this map yet again, we start us off with Mash. Thank you for the uh, quality. Giving it a beast. Uh, you know, well, we're losing you, Spook. We're losing you to the Matrix. Okay. Well, as I'm talking, I am becoming one with the Matrix. Absolutely. Hey, maybe you'll be able to see uh, see the pixels. I would you love know? to, you know, oh, to determine barrier. whether or not we are living. A, you know alternate reality what a bubble that was a triple bubble from uh from tumaki oh my god and now usa mash and beast are currently up in the front mash taking the uh the second spot at, instantly overtaken by hyphen and sarah tons of uh defensive utility coming out now tons of water bombs this is gonna be a lot, but the uh, as the team shield wears off, I'd imagine we're gonna be seeing a few of these bombs come down, and here they come raining from above. What a block from Hyphen, USA player, trying to keep their uh, 
uh, their lead as best they can, but Sarah overtaking mm. them in a big way. Yep, USA tried to cut on the outside. I, I don't believe there's item spawns in that narrow crevice that I was explaining earlier. So opted to try to take placement over items and depend on the team a little bit to possibly uh, oh, yeah. do some blocking. Festa will be able to take first place oh. here. Big bomb on beast, oh my! What a missile. I said, I think it was a missile. <laughs> no, yeah, no. that sinker missile for sure. Oh my god, that Ooh, aqua, man. That aqua bomb almost had Festa's that name was, on it. Yeah, I was so, so close. Just barely missing it. Oh man, the Wisp picking uh, picking him up and now Hyphen is going to be sitting in the last place as Festa is uh, kind of carrying the team on their back at the moment, trying to just bring as much uh, distance in between them and everybody else as possible. Okay, double shield on Festa. We'll be able to sit solid. Another shield going in. This is exactly where you want to be, having that much defensive capability to sit in first place. Mash getting a lot of boost with that magnet there. UFO going out. Beast will be able to take first place. Mash uh, shortly behind in second place. Oh, Sarah oh tries to take God. it at will. Sarah schmoving right through Festa. Getting a decent lead here, and the uh, secret missile is going to take up Festa, and now Beastie is in a consistent lead with three players oh. out in the front. Big bomb, mash the world on their shoulders as we move into the last portion here, and it is going to be a team Beastie Boy win. What a banger, a barn burner, you may say. Okay, so that's a, that's a point for Team Beastie, putting us into a 1-1 situation in the series, which... You know what that means. Goose, it's looking like we got ourselves another 1v1. Let's go! This is going to be a damn nice ace match now for those of you who are just joining us or are not aware of what we're talking about when we have a tie at 1-1 we end it with a 1v1 each team is going to pick a player to represent them and they go into a blue boost 1v1 so the winner of that match will be declared the winner with their team so mm -hmm. Who, who do we think are, is going to come out? I'm so Man, sorry. This is, this is tough. Both teams have some pretty cracked individuals. But let's see. If we're talk, Let's do Team Beastie first, since they just won that last game. Uh, If I had to pick, maybe, probably Beast. Beast is probably yeah. going to come out for their I'd say ace. Beast or USA? And then Festa. Them. Yeah, we'll we'll like you know probably come out as well. Oh, now, people say not, beast and cheese. That's not to say you know other individuals aren't capable of you know taking that. Sarah also would be a decent pick. Mm -hmm. Um, like I think anybody within these two teams could do it. But yeah. within the vacuum of tonight, you have to pick one person to represent you in a one v one. People are saying Chez and Festa. Okay, okay. Okay, well, you know, we'll 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 see here shortly. Um, I don't know if uh Oh, oh, Chez is Festa. Okay. People are saying Beast and Chez. Okay, yeah, okay. so the Beast and Festa. Beast and Okay, Festa. yeah. So we we predicted, you know, a very similar outcome. If I had to, you know, say just based off of, you know, consistency of what we've seen in each series leading up until now, you know, the there's those two names tend to you know be in the you know first second third placements on the off chance that you know they aren't you know sabotaged by an item or you know someone yeah. gets like a super decent bump or something like that like they're they, they tend to be up front so that's not that surprising but i am super excited to be able to oh, say that you know that. we have multiple 1v1s happening in, in an event and we're going to zigzag timberland moose <sighs> moose let's City. go Moose, get out your Canadian flags. How Wait about minute. that? What? Moose. Plot twist. Oh, yeah, we got USA and Festa. USA player against Festa. Didn't see oh, that coming. Yeah. This was my first choice. This is what I thought it was going to be. 
Like, USA has just been so consistent throughout the entire night, and mm -hmm. they've been able to play multiple roles. So putting them in this situation where they don't have to focus on anything else and can just enjoy the speed, I think they're yeah. going to thrive. I think this is going to be one hell of a final game here. Okay. Yeah, once well, we're good to go, we are going to hit that button, load in, and you guys are in for one hell of a treat. As we are well aware, 1v1s, everything is personal. It's fine if it's a team game, but all, all of us gamers know when, when it's 1v1, gloves are off. And oh, everything absolutely. matters. Oh, God. I did not realize that it was 8.30. <laughs> Yeah, this time uh, flies. Time is uh, going by real quick. All oh, the thug drive driving coming out in one v one. Yes, yes, absolutely. Ludacris you know being baby. played in the background. Move, get out, get the, out way. the way, get out of the way, boy. Yep, All absolutely, right. hands down. Gloves are off. In. What size is them shoes? That's my size. I want to see all. Oh, I want to see all the scum. And I swear to God, if anyone does a complete half turnaround bump into a recovery, I will lose my mind. Oh, absolutely. Here we go. Festa taking the early lead here, but uh, not to be outdone. USA player is able to uh, get themselves a decent boost and close some of that distance. I imagine they're going to be biding their time, waiting for the moment where they can uh, they can make a tight cut. But Festa. Jesus, how much time yep. do you spend in time attack? This I is rehearsed. Know. Yeah, just as you were saying that, you know, Fessa is not one of the individuals that you want to give them the ability to pretty much do whatever they want and just fully focus on the race. Look at the lead that Fessa is going to be able to take here. This so is lowly. the scariest thing I've ever seen. This is what? This is not even close at this point. Festa will continue to get a massive lead unless they start making mistakes. USA player needs to make some things happen here, get some of these turns effective and get these boosts popping to catch Festa right now because Festa is looking real solid. Jesus. Yeah, it's, it's literally a two second lead. Like, yeah, that's this, insane. Festa is driving like they want it. I wonder if you... <laughs> How they live in Tokyo? The spot the Rocket League player, you know? That's what Festa is doing it right now. Oh That's my Tokyo god. Drift it up. Yeah, Festa no, this dude is. On. He's in time attack mode right now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm seeing. This isn't even a 1v1 at this point. Festa's looking at the clock. That's that's that's, <laughs> that's their opponent. opponent at the moment. Yep, the this, clock. Is, this is I absolutely insane. I don't know how you can get this rehearsed while going this fast. Holy crap. Yeah, Festa's obviously and clearly been putting the time in to, you know, perfect this craft showing with tenfold everything coming together here. This is such a huge lead. This is such a huge lead. Yeah. Like, oh my goodness. It is it is getting rough right now, and Festa is gonna end up finishing with a damn near three second lead by the end of this. Uh like USA player just unable to uh to crush the distance here. But if Festa does make a mistake, yeah, USA one, will blast by them. One mistake could definitely do it, and it's not to say USA player isn't driving well, is clearly are ripping through this track just as equally as Festa is, but Festa got it under control just a little bit quicker, and that yeah. looked to be it. Festa will Lizzie. easily be able to take that 3.6 second lead. Over Jesus. That is obscene. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Never let Festa hit a 1v1. Those are in my notes now. Those are in my notes now. I am just gonna... I'm just gonna say... Do not one v one. I'm gonna I'm gonna circle that. Yep. Underline, I'm underline it. it. Bold, italicize, quotation marks, asterisks. Put it all there. Team Festa, congratulations! You will be moving on to grand finals. Uh, Team Beastie, you know, thank you for participating. You all played phenomenal. You know, it, again, your participation would not, you know, be uh, more more important than than now
you know, especially oh, this, this early for, you know, the esports kind of establishing itself. So big props to everyone there and everyone watching. Don't go nowhere because oh, up absolutely. next.